Hi, everybody. Before we get to another great interview, we could really use your help. IMDB, which is the entertainment database, recently named the Two Opinionated Podcast one of its top 100 podcasts. This is a monumental feat for this program. You know, we're a father and son team out of a small town in West Virginia, have been doing this for about five years. There's 15 million podcasts out there. About 40,000 of those get to the point that they're listed on IMDb. Out of those 40,000 out of the 15 million, we are ranked number 82. Something that we're just immensely proud of. We're so thankful for our listeners, our watchers, our fans. Thank you so, so much. If you would like to help us out and we're asking for it, please. Um, it's easy. It's real, it, it's really easy. It's free. If you go to IMDB, that's IMDB.com, look up two opinionated podcasts and just take a look at the page. That's all you have to do. I mean, you're welcome to look at the cast, look at the episodes so you can kind of see who's been on the program. Do whatever you want, but even just bringing up the page, imdb.com, Two Opinionated Podcast, bring up the page, look at it. That helps us so much. So please, if you can do anything, we would really appreciate that. Um, our YouTube channel is MeisterCon Pod. Love to have your subscription there. It's also free. And you can also check out our website, MeisterCon.com, where you'll find almost 700 episodes, audio and video, available on there. There's also a terrific blog from Brett, and it'll let you know anything that we have going on in studio, if we're covering a convention, if we're going on location, anything that we have going on will be on the website, MeisterCon.com. Thank you guys so, so much. We appreciate you so much much. I, I can't express enough how appreciative we are of all of you. We never, never expected to, to do as well as, as we have, and that's all because of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy that interview. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinionated. So excited today. I've got actor Joel Montgrand with me. So welcome, Joel. Hey, pleasure to be here. And apologies, you know, for butchering your name with my West Virginia accent, but I did the best. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Nobody, nobody gets it right. Uh, it sounds so good when you say it, though. I was listening <laughs> to your podcast and I was like, okay, I just kept replaying it. And I was like, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> no dice. That's it's it's all right. Actually, uh, a lot of the people back home, they've just completely given up and uh, they just pr pronounce it Mount Montgrand. Yeah, well, that's uh, how it looks to me. So I'm like, I'm going with that, but I yeah. know that's not the way it's pronounced. Yeah, it's 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 an old French name. It's uh, Machif. So there's a whole uh, culture, one of the world's newest cultures, Machif. Really? It's only, yeah, a couple hundred years old. Uh, it's a mixture of French and Cree. They came up with their own language, and that's my musham. That's my grandfather's side. So they okay. uh, have ancestors that fought down with, with three L in Canada's Civil War. So you really? recognize this people. Yeah, that's where the Machif come from. Oh, that's awesome. That's a, what, yeah. what, pronounce your last name. Let me hear it. Montgrin. Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's big, big, big mountain, right? Big mountain. It's it's, uh, it's a cool name. I like it too. It is. That's a good name. That's a good yeah. yeah. I was listening to you say it. And I was like, that's a cool name. I wish I could. <laughs> <get it. laughs> yeah, so, Joel, welcome to the uh, podcast. So I, I like to start this way. You know, tell me a little bit about what got you into the entertainment business acting's hard why'd you choose to go into that yeah yeah i i've said it so many times but i tell anyone um if you love anything else and will be happy doing anything else do that <laughs> just it is it is it's i don't know if it's the world's most competitive field but it sure feels like it um it's got to be yeah. near the top yeah yeah it's it's tough it's tough and so you got to be okay i think i think it takes a special kind of, of person because you got to be tenacious and you have to be okay with failure you have to be okay with rejection uh and you just have to be constantly trying to get better and uh you know what i mean if if i was happy working all of my uh blue collar warehouse jobs that i've done over my life uh hey i've run some, some warehouses in my yeah. life that's hard work 
It's very hard work. I was yeah. forklift certified for a while. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. I was I was mostly on the, the big truck delivery side stuff. And you know, I did a little of that too, but it was one of the smaller box trucks. So oh, yeah. I was I was normally in the warehouse. I worked for a uh, paper company back in the 90s and I ran the warehouse for them. So and I was a kid. So <laughs> I mean, I was in my early 20s. So you, you know, <laughs> some shenanigans in that job. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah it, there's there's a lot of a lot of uh young young dudes doing that kind of work so yeah. i think i just kind of started aging out of it you yeah. know and then you're like oh i don't really have too much in common with these guys anymore That's it. Like, <laughs> so yeah I'm, i I'm made an the, actor i made the uh, bad decision to go into sales which, oh wow okay which you know it That's sounds tough. good because you make some money that way but sales isn't for anybody or forever. No. <laughs> I should no, say no, there's no, few yeah. people are really it's, good. It's not, it's not it's not for anyone. <laughs> it's not for anyone. Nobody should be doing that. No, so um, yeah, I know all about the the warehouse stuff. So yeah, so you decided you need to do something else and you just chose acting? Yeah, per, oh kind of. I mean, that's that's a lie. I, I I was in love with doing theater, you know, like community yeah. theater. And I was doing that for ages. And that's how I that's how I trained because I've never taken uh, acting classes and things like that. Theater is pretty good training ground. For yeah. Although what I hear is you have to learn not to project as much when you're on an actual set. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's always been funny, too, because I've I've always been more of a natural film actor more yeah. so than theater. Like I've always had to really push myself to amp it up. Uh, because yeah, you're always playing to the back in theater. So right. Um, whenever I do some film project and then I come back into the theater, that's the first note that I get is like, "Hey, JD, uh, got to hear up, you back here. You, know, like you, <laughs> you, can't, you can't keep it all right here. You know, like get it out there." And I'm like, right, 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 right. Oh, sorry. About that. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, no, no lav on me on this one. Um, so I, I, uh, I did that for off and on for a good decade and a half i'd say yeah. community theater and then uh people were like i had a friend who was like um i was living in vancouver at the time again doing a show that i was like sacrificing work for you know uh to do this thing for free i wasn't eating properly i was sleeping on a cot i was i was <laughs> living the really broke artist life without pursuing it um in a real way and he was like you you should you should do this professionally i don't know why you're not and uh i got That's good advice up. Yeah, it is good advice. Uh, I, and I, it's, it's always sort of been that way for me. It's always taken a gentle push by someone to yeah. get me to tilt in a certain direction. I was like, oh, all right, why not? So he uh, knew my now agent um, because they went to school together and didn't know her well, but was like, I went to school with this woman and she is an agent now, I think. So you should go and see her. So <laughs> I was armed armed with her name. I was like, okay. So I went That's how it to, works a lot of times. Yeah. It's just connections. It is. It is. It is totally that because if I was also if I was smarter, I don't think I would have gotten an agent. I wouldn't have gotten this far because I was just dumb getting in there. I I've walked into the thing. You know, you're you're supposed to do a bunch of steps. You know, call them. Make <laughs> yeah, sure you skipped a few steps. Yeah, exactly. I <laughs> I, I, I uh, rocked on in and I said, "Hey, our mutual friend here uh, said that you might be able to help me out. I'm looking for an agent." She was like, "Um." okay do you have your resume and i was like oh i need a resume oh okay she's like yeah well, <laughs> you dummy like do you have do you have your headshots and i'm like no i need i need those huh are they expensive and you know and so she was like yes you need those and uh she gave me a cold read on the spot gave me the script and uh, i read the scene for her and uh she was like okay okay i'll, I'll you know what okay i'll take a shot on you but uh you got to get these headshots done and everything before and before I can get you out there, obviously. So I uh, spent the only 500 bucks to my name. I was flat broke. I was walking across town for like three hours. You were investing in yourself. That's a good I was invest. That's exactly it. Yeah. <laughs> and then lo and behold, I ended up uh, I ended up booking my very first audition. It was for a show called Bates Motel. Love Bates a, a, a we, we've, had, uh, we've oh. had Nestor on the program. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yes. You know, it's, it's, it's got its fandom for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, is, it, it, ran, it ran for ages. Um, yeah. It was on for a long time. It was a good show. It was a good show. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, uh, I, my line was Dylan Massett is here. That was my line. I had a machine gun. <laughs> I had a guard. You know, I mean, I had my dog with me. I, I was a guard and uh, I did my. How, how long did you have to practice that line <laughs> by yourself? <laughs> Before. I was so nervous too, you know, because I walked in and again, and actually the director of the episode was there 
uh, doing all of these one-liners for the day. And he was with a bunch of other folks. And I walked in, hi, hi, hi. Oh my goodness, here we go. Did my thing, left. I got a call uh, two days later, you got the part. I couldn't believe it, which <laughs> meant I was going to get that 500 bucks back, right? It was $500. So I was getting the money back. I wasn't going to be broke anymore. And I was like, oh, what a sight. Well, your big relief. I, I was, oh God. Yeah, at that was, point, you probably weren't even thinking about doing other stuff. No, no, no. And, and I had practiced way too much. I did my scene. I went out there. I, I did my bit. I had this dog. It was great. Um, came out, uh, ran to the director because he was way off in the corner. Didn't give me any notes or anything like that. And hopefully not for one line. And uh, he uh, came out afterwards because everyone's on, on break after saying cut. He goes, hey, buddy, great job today, by the way. I just want to let you know, uh, when you auditioned, you fucked up your line. But I just thought, uh, why not give him a job anyway? You know? <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> he yeah he, he gave me my break he gave me my very first break uh because i think he just was like who is this guy you know he's in his i mean 30s. did that allow he you nothing uh, on his resume you know it, so i mean and sometimes that's what it takes it you take it you have to have somebody take pity on you or a couple people just yep. to get you out there because when you're young you don't know yeah so trying to and, figure uh, it out i know and that was that was the thing too and again i i credit being um I think just bringing in that raw energy. I ended up booking uh, four out of five of my first auditions that I did. Yeah, and so that's then amazing. My, my and they weren't small. No, no. They, I mean, they they were they were very small. I mean, the shows were. Small. Oh, the shows. Yeah, yeah, of course not. No, and film and here in Vancouver, I mean, we're the filming capital of, of North America. We get. I know it's. Cr- from- I didn't realize so much as yeah in Vancouver, and a lot of times the things I think are in New York, it's being filmed in Vancouver. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's because there's everything you need out here. You got gothic buildings, old brick, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's always busy. Um, but yeah, I ended up uh, it ended up pulling me out of poverty because I was flat broke again. And and I uh, did this commercial. They flew me down to Mexico for it, and I think that was my second audition. Yeah. And uh, I I got I bought a bed, you know, and uh, I, I could afford I mean, the you bus were again. Literally starting with nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was, I was down. I was down as you can get. Um, I remember my rent, I had this tiny room, this tiny little apartment. It was $400 a month, um, which is insane. You'd never find that. That's now. a good price. <laughs> that's a, that's a good price, but believe me, you got what you paid for. <laughs> there was no living room. It was literally a bedroom and a bedroom on, on two ends. And in the middle, there was a small little kitchenette, you know, with yeah. like three cupboards and a fridge and a, and a hot stove thing. And nothing, and a, and a and a toilet in another room. Like it was, it was as low as you. As you were as you, as you were living high class. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I could uh, bring bring dates over, warm up a can of soup. It was it was very romantic. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we love I Zombie. We saw you on the episode playing Todd. Oh yeah, that was another that was another fun little break. That's when I started moving up. It's all about those steps. So I, that was a principal role. You know, and uh, I think it was one of my first principal roles where I actually got to say more than one thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. We thought you were going that. Saw you as a sheriff on Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm nerdy. So if you've been in the nerdy stuff, I've probably seen it. You know, that yeah. supernatural. You had a little mm-hmm. spot on there. Yeah. Yeah. I got to meet uh, Jared. So that was that was cool. He wasn't seen with me. I, I mean, uh, they did that show for what, like 18 years? <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely wild. And I had friends, you know, working crew. And so yeah. showing up on set was fun. I got to tour around and go look at the oh, car cool. and all that kind of stuff. Right. So yeah. uh, and I was and I was always had my eyes wide open. I was learning as much as I could um, and just seeing like for some people uh, like this, this. This is a real joy for me. And I've been very fortunate in my small amount of success that I've had that everything has been uh, really enriching uh, yeah. because I've, I've been on sets where I've seen some of the leads and it's a job and a slog for them, you know? And yeah, they're just is. like, oh, they're showing up and they're like, all right. Oh. There's, a, there's a lot of responsibility yeah. that comes from being first on the call sheet. <laughs> there sure is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I've, I've been enjoying being uh, down further on the call sheet and having, you know, just being able to take the time and being able to work on my yeah. characters and having fun with it. Well, so yeah, you got a couple big ones going on right now. So, so True Detective just ended. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, it was such a good scene. It was so it's so nice seeing Jodie Foster on screen again. That was a big plus. But just the whole cast. I mean, you w- that show wouldn't have been as good if it didn't have such a great supporting cast. I mean, it's, everybody in it's just terrific. Yeah, absolutely. And a uh, uh, big credit to Issa for having the vision to take a chance on so many of us. I mean, she was the one that uh, fought for me for that part. Um, 
because in the chemistry reads, we did all, all of our uh, additions and uh, Issa told her assistant at the time who, uh, again, always be friends with the assistants if anyone's that's right. there that's an actor. That's They're good the advice. Best. Yep. Uh, and they told me later, like, as soon as you did your thing, she looked over like, that's the guy that I want. Uh, but producers had different uh, vision for how my yeah. character should appear always. and everything. And she, and she said, uh, she told them that, uh, look, this guy's the better actor and we can send him to the gym. <laughs> So I I lost I lost just about twenty five pounds for that part. Oh, um, that's awesome! Yeah, good for you. Yeah. There's 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 something to be said about motivation to get in shape. And if somebody was paying me, I would get in better shape. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> I, it was it was a no brainer. I actually I really really enjoyed it. It was it was wild. Like the hard part's cutting out sugar, yeah. and all of that kind of stuff. Beer especially. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I, I was there six days a week, you know, busting my butt, uh, having a, having a great time. And they hired a personal trainer for me. And I was, you know, when someone else is screaming at you to get that weight. Oh, up, it helps. Then, uh, yeah, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you know, the hardest part time. about working out is just showing up. Yeah. If you get your butt to the gym, you know, mm -hmm. only good things can happen. <laughs> exactly exactly there may not you know the degree of good things is up to you but if you're at the gym good things will happen <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i was uh I'm, I'm forever in her debt uh and uh i think she's an, an incredibly talented and a visionary and you know i think uh, i just saw she signed on to do the next one she sure did yeah that's yeah. right so uh, i'm excited i'm hoping that it's uh Kavik's twin brother uh, down south or wherever they're awesome. going to film this one. <laughs> Maybe he moved. Yeah, who knows, right? We, you know? we, it was, it was left Maybe up it didn't in the work air. out and he, he moved. There we go, yeah. You never, you never know. Did, got tired, of, tired of chasing ghosts. My my real concern with the whole show was, was Eddie brushing his teeth at all? I know, I know. That was my thought too. It was like, what's going on? I mean, I had a whole, you know, because anyone that's an actor does their character work and of course, I was like, oh, my nephews, they gave me that toothbrush. And they, you know, they're, you know, it's a little, it's a little sentimental gift. And, um, and I was like, what is he doing, man? Like, yeah, I, I, I'm sure that he was. Don't worry. Ladies I was and a little he worried. Didn't, he, he, didn't, he didn't have stinky breath. You know, he wasn't, no. uh, the dogs weren't suddenly coming around. Well, she kept like, hey, showing back up. So I was like, well, he must not smell too bad. <laughs> no, exactly. Exactly. There was still interest there. There was, she was, she was still uh, coming, coming around. The chemistry between you two, I thought was great. Hey. Like, like it, you were a believable couple, even though she was kind of being reluctant to, to, you know, identify it as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. It, it, we, we had uh, been asked to walk a really fine razor's edge with yeah. how we were uh, coming across with that relationship. And I mean, I think we, we pulled it off in, in a lot of ways. There's, uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion. I've heard a lot of uh, people pointing out things and fair enough. It's, it's all, uh, it's all up for, or it's all subjective, yeah. you know how you're how you're going to see what these guys are going. Yeah, through, I thought it was. I think we loved well, each you, other. Yeah, you yeah. could tell. That's the part I liked was mm -hmm. there were moments when her character seemed to really need your character. You know, like yeah. like it, it and it, maybe she didn't want to admit that, but she needed. And then your character, there was a ton of moments where you could tell just by the looks you were giving her, you know, little facial expressions that yeah, you were in love. You're just kind of waiting on her to make that leap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Kafik was a, uh, he was uh, a really, really great guy. I mean, yeah, he didn't uh, obey all the laws and everything like that. Yeah. But uh, you know, who really, really does? Oh yeah, he, he a, just he seemed had, like he had that a, center where it counted. Yeah, he just seemed yeah. like a good guy. You know, he, yeah. he genuinely cared about her. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I yeah, I, I put in a lot of, uh, I put in a lot of work, and uh, Kaylee is very generous and. Um, funny enough, that sex scene that we did was, uh, our very first scene that we filmed that I got to film. And, uh, <laughs> and that was the most nerve wracking scene for uh, Kaylee and the whole thing. And for, yeah. for me, of course, too, because, you know, um, she's a professional boxer. You could hit her in the face, literally hit her in the face. And that's, that's less nerve wracking. Yeah, she looks like a badass. You would not. Uh, she's, her. Oh no, 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 no. She's, she's a real warrior. Uh, and like legitimately fought to where, where she is yeah. now um and so well, what, didn't uh, that big respect wasn't that stressful having to do a sex scene your your first day there <laughs> i would like the day yeah. to settle in maybe 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> the very first take. All right, you're naked. Get on that bed. You know? Like it was okay. Here I go. Um, but yeah, I knew what I signed up for. Um, you know, and it's HBO, and you're just yeah. like, yeah, what, what's what's going to happen here? So, um, but I gotta say, uh, intimacy coordinator uh, Lucy Fennell was her name. Uh, great, great job. Great working with her. I mean, this it's all like a dance. It's like a it's like a choreographed fight. You know, yeah. and you can still make um, things seem natural and beautiful in the moment, uh, real. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm glad that this is where the industry is is heading because uh, uh, it, or is now. I think it's going to become the new standard for sure, um, because it's just it's good having that safety. Um, someone that's outside of the production, like an intimacy coordinator that has a trunk. Would card you ever have thought, like, if you weren't an actor, would you have imagined that that was an actual job? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, it it's is so important, it's, though. It is so important, and it should have been a job from ages ago. I mean, God, you hear yeah. all these stories of old old Hollywood oh, yeah. horror stories, um, and just how how terrible and uh, dehumanizing the work used to be. And now um, you got a, the old guard that still there's still a lot of actors I read about that are uh, still advocating for that, and they're like, "Oh, you can't do it." And it was like, "Nah, man, you're just a creep. This straight up, you're just." Yeah. You're just an old creep. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, they're out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. So uh, I'm I'm happy to make art and um, and I'm happy with the team that we had together doing it. Yeah. Well, and it looked great. Yeah. You know, it's very yeah. believable. You know, I, yeah, I know. And Jen, by the way, her shoulders, I was like, you can kill me. <laughs> you can just oh, I grabbed her. I was like, yeah. I was watching her in the gym one day and she's running on the treadmill, throwing punches, shadow boxing. She spins around, starts running backwards, still throwing these punches, still moving. And I was just like, I didn't even know that was a thing. I know I she seems do. like she's just all muscle. Oh yeah. Solid. Solid. Yeah. She was so good in that role. Really good actress. Um, yeah. Was obviously in shape and ready to go for the, uh, the role. That That's pretty great. Cause it wouldn't have worked if, if she wasn't in that role, I don't think. Yeah. She was supposed to defend her championship, but then got offered this role. So. That's where she went. That's amazing. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty great. So your other one mm -hmm. is The Last Airbender. So oh, yeah, Avatar. I just, just finished watching it. I was taking my time, you know, as I was yeah. dragging it out, watching an episode of Isha Day. And uh, man, that was cool. That is... Yeah, it's good. It connects. I was, you know, because you never know. And my part's smaller in first season, so I'm looking forward to the next ones. I yeah, really yeah. think But it's it gets happen. bigger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's my uh, my stepdaughter has always been a fan of the the anime, and she was a little <laughs> disappointed when with the movie. She liked it, but but thought it would, didn't quite capture it as well as she would like. But she really liked this adaption. So yeah, if she liked it, that's good enough for me because she was such a fan, uh, or is such a fan, and she yeah. Said, yeah, she loved it. Yeah, yeah, and that and that movie got a lot of flack and. Uh... Well, you know, they made they made mistakes and let's just say everybody else uh, has learned from those. That's right. So now right. we're I, th I think it's uh, it had it had a lot of really good emotional beats um, and the kids just get better and better as, as it goes on. And they're just going to be better in second or third season. So, oh, yeah. Well, and Netflix is they're kind of figuring out this uh, anime to live action thing. You know, One Piece was great. Yeah. You know, now with uh, Avatar, they're they're doing a pretty good job with that. And there's such a fan base out there for it. Yeah, they're and they're rabid about it. It's yeah. wild. Yeah, they they know everything. Um, you know, so you want to you want to be able to to do justice for them as well as you understand that it's like this this big television event, and that uh, it's going to bring in a whole other group of people right. that would never yeah. never watch cartoons right. or anime or anything like that. But you you got to find something that works. Um, and so I, I think it's special. I think it's really cool. Number one show in the world right now. That blows my mind. I know. And it doesn't hurt your like IMDB rating either. You know, you're on a <laughs> number one show. It tends to go up. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's down. true. I guess I've, down is I've, more. Yeah. I've, 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 Lower is better on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a golf, golf score. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. It's I got like, a 4 million. It's <laughs> Boy, they yeah. love me. I'm like, well, here. <laughs> look at you. You only got 30. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. What'd you say your name was? Al Pacino? Get out of here. No one's going to work with you. Nobody's going to work mm -hmm. with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Altered Carbon was another one. Yeah. Yeah. Now that, that, that was, was probably uh, a fun set to work on. 
that was a fun set and it was also like at that time was that was my my biggest role coming up to that point just being yeah. on a big big budget production and uh working with joel kinnam and a very talented guy who's very talented yeah incredibly built the man has like zero <laughs> percent body fat he's buck naked during the scene that i'm yeah. in this is my introduction he's on top of me and then we'll, and he's just dripping goo everywhere. <laughs> and I, I was probably one of the funniest things that's ever happened to me in my life as I was laying there getting choked out by this greased up naked man. And I'm thinking, this is this is see a I'm pattern talented. in your roles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I seem to be on the bottom a lot. It's uh, <laughs> hopefully things will change with Hakoda, right? Yes. There's like there's some good fights coming up in season three, so I got to get uh, bigger arms for that because you got the oh got yeah, that yeah, great yeah. vest right. So yeah, you got some good stuff coming up. Season yeah, two is going to be a good year for you too. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And it, I mean, it's doing so well that that's a pretty good sign. It'll be back. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know anything. I can neither confirm or anything like that. Uh, and I, but I don't even have to confirm or deny because I literally I don't know. No one's no one tells yeah, me yeah. anything. But I, I don't see how they couldn't make. No, nah, it's got to come back. It's got to come back, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm crossing yeah. my fingers. <laughs> I'll too. make the Me call. too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're there now. Yeah. Right <laughs> so, so I've been listening to your podcast. You know, I always try oh, to cool. get out. Because I always say the, the best thing about podcasting is anybody can do it. The, the worst thing about podcasting is anybody can do it. <laughs> anybody can do it. Yes. But I thought yours was really well done. I enjoyed it. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it, it's wild. I totally agree on that. With when, with the incredible, like we're in a golden age of podcasting, it's new, but it yeah. is like, I, I thought for sure, because like everything is out there. There's podcasts on, oh, there's know, like 15 capture million gators and, you know, anything what, you want. Yeah, what, what paint you, but there was nothing that I could find on indigenous actors. Yeah. And so the, I was very sad to see this because I wanted to listen. Yeah, to it's this surprising podcast. to me that, yeah. That that there wasn't more out there, but I, so, so it's called, um, actors and ancestors, which I love the name. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. A, but I, I, I did surprise me. I thought it was a great idea. So is the idea that, um, you're, you're going to bring on different, uh, indigenous actors and just kind of have those conversations. Yeah, exactly. I, I wanted to make it like a one-stop shop for um, people that were interested in certain indigenous yeah, yeah. actors are a lot of them. Um, so I, hopefully it, it'll answer because uh, they're all uh, not moving too far out of the out of, out of the norm. Like there is a bit of a yeah. formula, of course, but uh, uh, that's because I want to be able to get uh, the story of how these people became actors, what yeah. challenges they faced, so that anyone that's going on there and just wants to listen to two or three, or maybe all of them, but you know, they're they're going to find the guys that they're they're wanting to know and maybe be inspired and learn from their challenges. I love that. Yeah. So um, I'm I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to do it more often. Right now, because it is just a, a passion project, and yeah. you know, I'm I'm thinking this was a passion project it. that turned into something. So. Hey, that's right, <laughs> and that's it. That's all the growth. So, I, I, if, if someone else came along honestly and did did my podcast and they could do it better, I'd be thrilled. I, I would love to just. I thought you did a really good job with it. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah I listened I'm, to I'm, your first episode, and I thought it was really good. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's the me episode, I think, is the first one. It is. Yeah. I, I, I tell everyone they can skip it if they want right away. Uh, but yeah. That was good because it gave you some background on you. And, and mm. that was that was pretty interesting. And and I'm assuming you've got a bunch lined up uh, to bring on yeah. at some point. Yeah. 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 I'm trying I'm trying to get out an episode a month um, and I'm hoping I could double that. Oh, that's good. Short term, because it, it is again, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm paying for all this stuff and I'm just hoping to get it going but uh now if things are starting to change and i'm getting some inquiries and there's and yeah. it's like oh gosh there's so many people that want to do this now and uh a lot of great well, indigenous actors out there 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 really really is but I've, I've also stated um how even if you're a famous indigenous actor you're not really that famous at least historically things are changing right. now now lily gladstone she's gonna win the oscar oh my face. gosh yeah she's, she's um gonna win that Right. Like things, things are turning around, but, but uh, if you go back even five years ago and you ask the average person who goes to the yeah. movies, like, Hey, who's your favorite indigenous actor? And they'd be like, ah, that guy from this, that lady from this, you know, but they, they wouldn't even know their name. 
No, and that's kind of a, a kind of a shame, and and it's it's been awesome because the last couple of years there's been a lot coming out that's been yeah. it's been pretty great, and we've been blessed to have several of the actors you know come on show. We had uh, uh, Anna Lamb came. Oh yeah, her detective Anna. Yeah. Anna, I love her. She was yeah, she yeah. was on my show too. Yeah, she was on a show called Three Pines, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, we loved it. So so when I saw she was on that one, I was like, I'm gonna try it get her from podcast because seen her in a couple things now she's pretty good yeah yeah pretty good Anna's, Anna's great and uh more importantly she's a good human so I always yeah always super like nice good people yeah good heart mm-hmm. yeah she was really good I, I love the idea for for the podcast because I I think you could do a lot with that and you'd find an audience you know the the big thing is you just got to be consistent whatever e- even if it's once every three or four months as long as it's on a you know, kind of consistent basis, you'll find an audience. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that's, that's the hope. So um, I'm, I'm, it's, it's been growing though. So it has been uh, nothing but an up, upward trajectory. That's awesome. So, yeah. 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 Well, it's good. It's, I, I thought you did a really good job with it. And, and I think I was watching like um, the video version, but you just had the picture up, you know, and then the audio playing in the background. And I was like, hey, Oh, you saw it on YouTube. Yeah. I put a couple episodes. Yeah. Up we on, need to do um, that too on, cause we yeah, do yeah. YouTube interviews, but we also do somewhere. It's just me and my son talking about nerdy stuff. And we normally don't tape those so <laughs> it's audio. So I'm like, yeah. that's a good idea. We'll stick a picture up, put the audio on YouTube too. Yeah. Cause you just put it on the background. A lot of people don't uh, have the patience or, or well, you that's know, it. It's, it's easy just to click and you, you know, you're, you're working in your garage and you have something playing and go have for it playing it. in the background. Yeah. That's not, yeah, exactly. uh, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not mm-hmm. too, bad, not too bad at all. Um, what do you do when you're not acting? Or podcasting. What what kind of what kind of hobbies does uh, Joel have? Oh, I'm a big I'm a big nerd right now. I'm <laughs> uh, I'm tearing it up online these last couple of nights with a couple of my buddies uh, playing Baldur's Gate. Oh um, gosh, I'm such a I, I'm a I'm an old D and D guy. So yeah, oh I, yeah, I was yeah, playing D and D back in the seventies. You know, we <laughs> all through high school and college, and then you know I played with the kids when they were growing up. And yeah, yeah. Big, what's 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 your class? What's your favorite class? What do you go? With? Well, so when I played, I was either a thief, mm-hmm. a magic user. So those are the two characters that I tended to use. And I've still got them. You know, if yep. you be a high level magic user or thief, I've still got them. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you could multi-class, right? Do a magic Yeah, you could totally multi-class with them. And it's, um, yeah, I miss those days. And we, you know, we played most of the old, you know, Gary Gygax modules is what we were playing. And we were doing uh, uh, mostly two. So we were, more uh, second edition D and D we were playing. We try. We started with the basic sets. I don't know if you remember those, but it's just the box set. You know, mm-hmm. came with a module and the you know the basic game rules, and you play with that. But then we moved to second uh, second edition. We liked it the best. Now they're yeah. on five or something six. Yeah, yeah. It's it's always it's always been building. And I, I'm not, I, admittedly, I'm uh, I'm a PC gamer. I just like everything online. I like reading more than. Um, uh, like reading about the lore of, of Dungeons and Dragons than actually playing. Yeah, I'm the same uh, way, uh, actually. Yeah, I, I love that stuff. I yeah. always enjoyed, because I usually DM'd, I always enjoyed uh, just yeah. putting it together. Yeah. Just, just coming up with the kind of using the imagination, putting it together. I enjoyed that as much as I did playing. Yeah, okay, see, so we're all we're all nerds here. We're all just nerdy. Nerds. I gotta, yeah, I got you've been dealing with this background? It's a nerdy <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a nerdy I know it's We, little who's we who, call like, it a pop this? culture podcast, but... Yeah. It's dirty box. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I actually looked at your background. I'm like, I, I know all these things, and I couldn't figure out what that little mouth is just above Batman. It's the one thing that's kind of haunting me. I'm like, oh, this one up here? Yeah, this little, this little, this little mouth on the, above it's Batman's the, ears. Let's see. Is it, is it Mel Gibson? No, I'm not Mel Gibson. The face on the left there, but above, uh, right above Batman, I, I can't see what oh, that is. Oh yeah, is, is that, that a thing, or is it just the back? I don't know. I think it, I, I don't think it may be. We may have cut somebody off. off there. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah so so it, that's why I'm like. It, the idea was because our our Facebook page and everything, we've always went with MeisterCon. Oh, okay. podcast called Two Opinion A Podcast. I was like, I just want a bunch of characters yelling con like Shatner <laughs> did in Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. So that's the idea behind it is just they're all mm-hmm. sort of yelling con. <laughs> uh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I know. I know it's complete nonsense, but we, we enjoyed it. Oh, um, um, beans. Enjoy yes. that. Oh, I love I love beans. Thank you for bringing yeah, that one that up. Yeah, that was really good. That that is actually the 
the road to all of my major successes lead to beans. Beans was a was, you know, you get all these breaks in your in your career, and yeah. uh, beans is the one that got me noticed by really association because I didn't have the biggest part, but I was proud of my part because it's yeah. it's a woman, or it's it's a it's a movie highlighting our women, right? Um, yeah, and their journeys uh, in in this. Uh, you know, based on real events. I mean, the news footage in that movie of all these people saying like, ah, you know, these natives, these Mohawks, they should die. You know, that's all real. That was all in the yeah, CBC. That's upsetting. And all these... It's very upsetting. And that's not that long ago. These people are still around. I hope they've let go of that hate uh, that was in them. But um, that was a movie with Gowan Dio, who played Beans. Yeah, she was um, great too. Yeah. And now she's in Avatar. And of course, uh, my friend Rainbow Dickerson uh, played my wife in that that movie as well. And uh, because of that, the, the casting director looking for these four leads for Avatar um, yep. found her, got her to audition, but they liked the family dynamic. And when they started filming the series, they needed the parents coming into some episodes. So we got to audition. And there was a little bit of back and forth with me, but eventually I got the part two. Uh, and it's funny enough, the whole family unit is is right there so that's cool that's very cool yeah we we're all just thrilled so you were the one that you. took a little while <laughs> yeah i was i was i was yeah. there they, they they uh originally wanted me for bato oh yeah and uh yeah and i was and i actually uh i had a different project on the go at the time and i was like ah uh, i'm sorry i'm not gonna i like it's it's great i wish you guys well awesome but i'm i'm i got this other thing and i think i'm gonna rather do this because it's a big character it's it's it'll be cool um, and then they said, okay, well, what about Hakone? I <laughs> said, so, um, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, other projects. Very sorry. I got to leave. Yeah. This was, And this was literally like, uh, you know, a day before I signed something. So I was like, mm, sorry, no, I'm out of that project. That's always how it works. Yeah. Like nothing, 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 then everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And and then funny enough, we filmed that. And then finally, I think it was like nine months after I filmed, the casting announcement came out um, yeah. for us, the parents as uh, Rainbow and myself. And so then they announced that we were playing the parents. And about four days after that casting announcement came out, I got the audition for uh, True Detective. Amazing. So momentum momentum, momentum yeah but it all, all goes There's back something to he said about that you know when when you're you're getting those positive uh, vibes from the universe you gotta take advantage yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and now i'm doing like weird things because i'm the only thing i ever knew how to do was act and now i'm learning i'm learning how to podcast and i'm, I'm learning this business element of this industry yeah um and it's, it's tricky it's, uh, it's tricky it's very tricky yeah i got a i got a publicist and all of this kind of thing i'm talking with managers i know you're um, big time and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, i i i don't know if i'll ever think of myself as that but um i appreciate it thank you yeah i i think you're such a, a talented actor um and part of the reason that that i, <clears throat> I think that excuse me is is the the way that you're able to convey so much without saying anything? I told you a little bit of that earlier, but it, you're really good at it. Like like you'll make uh, facial expressions, and I'm like, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had that in I, I, my favorite scene. I don't know about you, but I just I love that finger pull scene when oh, that's Kavik, a great scene, Mister X, and yeah. pulls on her, and then uh, yeah, and then he sees what she really needs right now, you know is uh more emotional support than than this tending to physical wounds right, right. yeah uh I, I i think it's a really really incredibly well written uh piece uh and i was just absolutely floored i got to be in it um so onward and upward i guess but yeah well and it seemed like a believable story like if if you read that in a paper or a magazine that that had actually happened, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's that sounds rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. was believable because of the the characters in it. The dialogue was so well. You actually believed that that town existed. Yeah, yeah, right. Isn't isn't that a, a, there were some people like, where's Ennis? How come I haven't heard of this town? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a pretty cool little spot. What's going on yeah, there? Let's, yeah. let's check that out. Middle yeah. Of, oh, oh, doesn't it? Okay. Well, and cool. you you filmed in Iceland, is that right? Yeah, we did. That's kind of cool. We to go there. It was wild. It was it was warmer than uh, my neck of the woods where I grew up, northern Saskatchewan, because that got up. 
that got down to minus 40 celsius and fahrenheit oh very nice out. see there we go the but magic I, number <laughs> the magic number it overlaps uh but we uh we just had this like it was it was weirdly the warmest winter that Iceland had. So it was chilly. It was definitely chilly. You know, there's cold winds and there was a couple of days of minus 20 and stuff like that. But nothing super, super freezy, yeah. crazy, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they, they got they, they got the weather that they needed and maybe a little lucky that way, I suppose, because people would have just been, you know, frostbitten. Oh, and everything been, uh, out there. Was lots of night shooting. Lots and yeah. lots of night shooting. So, well, yeah, because yeah. it was nighttime the whole time <laughs> yeah that's that's the thing yeah so uh it's so that... difficult living somewhere where you didn't have sunlight for a long time because i think yeah. it would affect you in ways that you wouldn't anticipate even winter up here in in vancouver you know like we all get that seasonal depressive oh, yeah. thing going on lots of very gray very uh you gotta sit cold. under those little uh ultraviolet lamps <laughs> you know what check check this out right here. boop Whoa. oh yeah there you go there's my yeah, yeah I, that, my I wife one. does that she works from home when she's not traveling and yeah. she has one sitting right next to her desk and she'll flip that on a few times yep. a day just to get some you know it does help it's a life. very strange thing but you, maybe who knows maybe it's even a placebo effect i don't know but that works too placebo still works so it yeah works if it me. works who cares exactly exactly <laughs> <laughs> well joel thank you so much for taking a little bit of time i i really enjoyed it i love the sh both shows that you've been thank you yeah that's uh unusual that you get two high profile shows back to back Back to back like that within weeks of each other. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. insane. Two years ago for Avatar, one year ago for True Detective, and they both release at the same time. It's amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you Can't very much. Can't wait to see what you got next. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I give a little shout out to yeah, something yeah. that I'm in? Yeah, please. Um, my next question is, is there anything you're working on that we can keep an eye out for? Yeah, there's a, I did a movie over the summer called Sweet Summer Pow Wow, and uh, it was by a buddy of mine, Daryl Dennis, a director, writer, uh, and they're, they're shopping it around right now. So eventually that'll come out. It's a, it's a coming of age story. I'm helping my nephew find love. It's a very, I like those very type of stories. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a feel good movie. Uh, it's very cute, you know, family uh, friendly, I'm assuming family friendly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So those, 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 uh, family members that I, I discouraged from watching true detective, I was like, you can definitely watch this one. You can watch this, this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's coming out, uh, this summer. Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, he's shopping it at the moment, so we're gonna. Yeah, find and that's tricky. Is he is he going to do the uh, festival route? I I think it might be going that way. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. we'll we'll see what happens. I'm not I'm not sure. He yeah, lives down in L.A. Fingers. and so. Yeah, yeah, cross fingers. So so the last thing before I let you go, uh, where can we find you on social media? Assuming you'll be announcing this stuff as it uh, becomes official. Oh, 100 percent. I will. Uh, yeah, I got an Instagram out there. It's Joel D. Moncrain all one word and there's no blue check on it because i made a mistake and i clicked on this business thing and now i'm in the ether just waiting ah oh, it's frustrating i know i i couldn't go back yeah so i was like no i want you the can't blue check. it won't let okay. you can't you can't backtrack on social media it's it's very fun. no yeah so now i gotta wait until they get around to me who knows but well, anyway. nobody ever thinks ahead to like trying to get the same name on every social media so you mm -hmm. it never fails on one of them. You got a asterisk or an underscore or something. So you can yeah yeah. Mine name. is just just my name with the, with the letter D in the middle, my middle initial. So JD, it's Joel D Monkran. Yeah, I found you pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, I cool. came came right up. So where can we uh, find the podcast? It's in actorsandancestors.com. Uh, go to the website. You could also search uh, for a couple episodes that we've uploaded to YouTube to kind of you know, wet the whistle. Yeah. And uh, there's also on Spotify, Apple, all the uh, streaming platforms. It's it's right up there. Yeah, it's worth it. it. The first episode was really good. You, you didn't even have the guests on yet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's it. Yes. And, and again, if anyone, if anyone doesn't want to listen to me, please, you don't have to jump ahead to the guests. P pick and choose. It's choose your own adventure. You know, I'm not giving the people that option with <laughs> because they'll skip. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just go ahead, man. Ah, jump ahead. It, it, it's it's, it's funny. I, I, I've always had a hard time talking about myself, you know, yeah. because I've led my life. Um, and so uh, this past couple of months, I've had to really, I'm getting used to it again. But it's, it's, it's well, I, I've always been an introvert and, and it mm. was really difficult for me. 
when we first yeah. podcast, but now we're 750 episodes in. So I guess, I guess I'm used to it, I guess. I still <laughs> feel nervous though ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. I think that's fantastic, man. I, I hope I can uh, start churning them out as fast as you are now. That's, oh yeah. That's... It gets addictive. Mm-hmm. Well, I, actually, I, I always enjoy it. it. It's really just that I can't say no. If anybody <laughs> asks, I'm like, sure, come on. <laughs> <laughs> And then my son, who's stuck editing all of them, he's like, did you need to do 10 interviews this week? I mean. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah well, I, that's... Kinda, I bunch them. So I have heavy weeks. And then, you know, I might have a week where I just have one you know, or <laughs> none. And then right. so then it lets it spread out a little bit. But I'm not as good at the light weeks as I should be. Yeah. yeah. But it's I important. It's... I get my head. And you'll find it. You get so involved in making it. You don't think about promoting it, you know, so thank goodness for my son because he's handling all that stuff or we'd just be out there and it'd just be for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's just it too. I wouldn't be able to do this without my partner. And uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's the one she got, she got a background in podcasting and really just helped. Oh, me there you go. Figure everything out. Or, they let yeah. you just be the talking head. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's okay. That's the part that I'm all right with. I like, yeah, I like to chatting with folks. It's not, yeah, the chatting part's not terrible. So I said, no. I always tell my wife that because our studio is it's like a two minute drive from the house. So mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I'm off to work. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to, we point. had to do that because we were just at the house and it was difficult not to be distracted. So I was like, we got to find a place that I can go to and get into you know, more of a work mode. So that's that's why we're at it. That's why I'm right. you know, stuck in a studio now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I can't tell. I don't know where you are. It's just this is beautiful, this beautiful background that I love. God, yeah, isn't it? It's pretty God. good. Right. If I was better at uh, Photoshop, then when I had a guest on, I'd throw them in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you, you go. Know, maybe, uh, could come maybe up you know, maybe I could replace uh, Jaws or something and just stick the guest face right there. <laughs> like I just have them, to find them with the mouth open. Yeah. I like that. And then pop them in. Yeah. You know, be th think of that, you know, on one of these acting roles, make sure you do an open mouth one so I can put you up there. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Yep. You got to have a good pose. <laughs> Your director will be like, what are you doing? He's like, I, I just want to get on the wall. <laughs> there's like, there's a real good one of me in that uh, potato chip commercial I did on my second. Oh, there you go. Perfect. They, they feed me this chip and I was like, ah. Yeah, that's all you need. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'll find it. <laughs> well joel thank you you got to come back you know when you when you get the uh, next big thing out come back and tell us about it all right you got it thanks a lot michael i, I enjoyed this this was fun yeah it's been great okay hold on one second hope you enjoyed that one uh joel's such a talented actor if you haven't seen um true detective night the night country i think is the the name of this one uh, he's excellent and he does such a good job um it's a supporting role but kind of an important one to the story he does a really great job um and the show's amazing i think it's i think it's only six episodes it might be eight but it's it's worth your time probably um well not probably easily the best season since the first season it's it's really well uh well done we also had anna lamb uh who's uh stars in it as well so you could look up uh that one if you enjoyed uh joel's interview uh appreciate oh avatar the last Air airbender really well done adaption and uh joel does a terrific job in a role that's going to get bigger so season two season three you're really going to see his character quite a bit really good uh really good job if you uh, are finding us for the first time, we're so happy that you're here. Thank you. Uh, apologies. You know, I, I've um, I've talked a few times on the uh, podcast about the difficulties with uh, with my celiac disease that I've been having the last couple of months. I got cross contaminated uh, in Vegas around the end of the year, and my uh, immune system got compromised, and it's caused me to have a pretty rough couple of months health-wise, um, including, you know, when your immune system gets depressed, chances are you're going to get sick. And I've caught the uh, flu twice, and I had the flu shot. Um, and both times were pretty rough. So I'm uh, coming off of the second 
uh, bout of flu. So I've still got that little bit of that gravelly voice going on. So I apologize that, uh, that I'm struggling. So say all that by if you're here for the first time. Normally, my voice is a little bit better. Not a lot, but a little bit better. If you enjoyed it, we'd love to have you uh, come back. There's a couple easy ways to support us if you're so inclined. Our YouTube channel is MeisterCon Pod. All we ask is that you subscribe. It's free, but it really does help us out. Helps us to keep bringing these great guests on. Our website is MeisterCon.com. Uh, right now, we've got 737 episodes out, and you can see, uh, or you can you can get audio and video versions of all of those, go to the website, meistercon.com. Uh, IMDB, which is the entertainment database, recently named us a top 100 podcast. 15 million podcasts out there, so to make anybody's top 100 list, pretty big deal. If you go to imdb.com, look up the two opinionated podcast. Once you bring the page up, that's all you have to do. You're welcome to look around, you know, look at the uh, amazing you know, guest list that we've had. We've had about 800 guests on the uh, on the program. You'll know most of them. Um, but just bringing up the page helps us, just having that traffic on the page. Thank you guys so, so much. Till next time. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm once again here to ask for your support. It's been a big year for the Two Opinionated Podcast. Back in February, we got to live out a dream moderate for William Shatner here in our hometown. In May, we passed 100,000 downloads on our YouTube channel, and we followed that up in June with 50,000 downloads on the audio side. We recently posted our 600th episode, which is pretty good volume for just a uh, father and son operation. You know, not too many podcasts can keep that volume up. We've been doing this now for four and a half years. 600 plus episodes. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, which is a really big deal for us because we've always gotten the views but have struggled to get people to subscribe. So that 1,000 was a big deal for us. And best of all, we were recently named one of the top podcasts on IMDb, which is the entertainment database. You know, those that are ahead of us, we came in at number 82. Those that are ahead of us are bigger companies like Disney, mostly Marvel, and Joe Rogan, that type of uh, podcast. So for us, being just a, a small West Virginia father and son podcast to be in the top 100 out of 15 million, it's a pretty big deal for us. So thank you for everything you've done for us so far. Got a couple little ways, though, that you can help us, and they're free, and they're really easy. If you haven't checked out our YouTube channel yet, please go to YouTube. It's under MeisterCon Pod. Just hit subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. really helps us a ton. And maybe even more important, if you could go to IMDB, IMDB.com, look up the Two Opinionated Podcast, and just look around the page. Just having that traffic on the page really helps us out. So that's a couple of easy ways that you can support us, even if you're not listening or watching all of the time. And we want you to listen and watch, because I think that our, our guest list, I would put up against anybody, any other show, podcast, anybody out there. I think our guest list holds up. So please check us out. You you probably will find somebody that you like or maybe somebody that you didn't know you liked but kind of discovered them on there. There's tons of that. If you're into music, we have that too. If you like books, we've got authors on there. If you if you're more into what goes on behind the scenes in the entertainment world, you know, we've got producers, directors, um video artists, anything you can think of that happens behind the scenes, we've had them on the show. So definitely check us out. Thank you guys so, so much. Until next time. Bye, everybody.